Hey guys, welcome to the channel, it's the Eradicator, and in this video we will talk about the brand new illegal delivery missions coming up in Star Citizen of a 3.17.2, and yes, I have managed to find a couple of those, I grind the reputation with red wind deliveries, and so these have come up in my Moby Glass, and I will try them out for you guys in this video today. Welcome to the channel guys, it's the Eradicator, and in today's video we are going to take delivery missions uh, for Red Wind Deliveries. I am here on Aerial and grinding the very last mission, I hope, with the regular legal ones. So at the beginning you gonna have to grind your reputation a little bit with those guys, but then once you have grind your reputation, then you should have access to some of the more juicy missions too. So these are the ones that are going to be worth 8,000 of uh, UEC. And you're gonna have to do three pickups or three, yeah, three pickups or uh, one pickup at one location, and then three drop-offs at three different locations, or three drop-offs at the same location. And once you do a, a number of, if I'm correct, it's about eight of them, then after that, you should be able to get to the next level, which is runner, and this is going to branch out into two categories. Either, well, the one at 45,000 alpha UEC, or those that you see here at 12,000 alpha UEC. Now, this one, is very interesting because, well, it's going to be taking me to the locations around Crusader. So we're gonna have uh, three different, uh, three different pickups here on Daymar and three different uh, drop-offs here on uh, Yela as well. So that's going to be our very first mission. Now I have heard. Uh, people were saying that, oh, uh, these delivery missions are only taking place around Crusader, and you will find that in this video, it is not true. The first ones that you're going to be doing are probably going around Crusader, but then uh, you should be able to take uh, pretty much uh, any missions or any of these kind of missions where there are some shady places, which is why if you stay around Hurston, you will not be able to take any of these missions because I don't think that they are any type of illegal settlement over on Hurston. That's just not something that you can find around here. But I am very sure that you'll be able to find those delivery missions also around uh, our corp as well, because there are also a couple of shady places there too. So here we go. Uh, we are on our way and we are going to be going to Crusader and see, uh, well, what awaits there as we, of course, for the uh, needs of this video, I have uh, heavily edited the footage that you see. It takes a little bit longer. All right. And also I decided to have a little bit of fun with my uh, Cutlass because why not? These missions do not pay so much. So it's not really going to be about the payout but more the journey. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to raise these canyons because why the hell not? Right? I mean, there are lots of people who enjoy doing those with arrows and M50s. And well, <laughs> the Cutlass is my favorite ship. So I will be doing that with a Cutlass. Right, it should be uh, arriving here. This place is one of the uh, abandoned outposts on Daymar. I believe it is also a drug lab. I really love the location here with those little canyons. It's very, very scenic, very Tatooine-like for those of you who like the Star Wars lore. A couple of uh, shady packages as well. I could be grabbing those. And I didn't know it yet, but you can basically grab also all those packages that are very well stacked here. On this shelf, I did. Uh, we'll check it out later, and you're gonna see that there's gonna be a very interesting response from uh, the Nine Tails if you do so. So stay tuned to the channel, keep on watching, and you will see what happens. Anyway, we've got our first package here. Again, uh, very, very different from the uh, normal packages that we used to deliver before. Uh, you can already uh, feel the filth here in their hands. I don't want even my ship to touch that. We'll put it on the jump seat to uh, stay professional, perhaps. There we go. All right, so that's one, and we're going to have to pick up a couple of more. There is the second, and this is the third. Now, these three places were, uh, these three boxes were not at the same place, of course, for the record, for the purpose of this brief recording, it looks like it, but they were at actually uh, two different locations on Daymar. Uh, two of these boxes were at the same location, and there was the one at the, at, the at the second location. Anyway, we are on our way and we'll be uh, doing a drop-up. So far, so good. Now, I was a little bit hyped about those missions because we were told in an episode of Inside Star Citizen that we will be interdicted and that there would be uh, 
players uh, also doing those missions and maybe preventing us from doing them i have to say that uh as of right now i must have done by the time i'm recording this video i have done five of those illegal delivery missions and i have never been interdicted once and i have never met any player as well so no draw boxes here at these shady outposts you just need to put the boxes on some of those shells a lot of the graffiti is here for extra drama we're about to complete the very first of these missions and uh, here we go that's basically it and that's going to get me a payout of 12,000 Alpha UEC. Now, I was wondering if this is going to be opening up new opportunities, uh, perhaps. Uh, let's see if we can grab this one here. Yes, uh, we can. We can also do a little bit of looting of uh, those outposts. It's especially interesting because eventually you're going to grow tired, you're going to get thirsty, you're going to get hungry. And it's great that these uh, outposts do offer some looting opportunities. You can have some nice helmets here that I have found, but also uh, the bottles of water or some snacks and fruit that eventually your character is going to be needing. Anyway, so we are done. We'll be uh, looking to see if there are any other missions available. And yes, there are plenty of other missions available, not just 12,000 of uh, UEC. Ooh, this one 73,000, but this is not a new illegal delivery mission. This is a new reclaimer mission that uh, we could try to do perhaps another day for another video. Now you got those other uh, illegal delivery missions that we used to have in previous patches, but the Red Wind Discrete Career Run are the brand new ones that are coming up in 3.17.2, and you have different payouts, just one pickup, one drop-off for 4,000 of UEC, uh, four pickups, four drop-offs for 16,000 of UEC, and five pickups, five drop-offs for 20,000 of UEC, and that is what I'm going to be taking here. I'll be taking five different packages from different locations, and I will drop them off at two different locations one of them is actually jump down which is very interesting because as i was doing this uh, recording here there was actually a jump town event happening in the ptu and i was really afraid i had no idea where the jump down event was taking place and uh, i was a little bit afraid that it would be uh, the one on the yellow there it is jump down just dead ahead of us and luckily it is not so uh, location is pretty uh, empty people are busy uh, doing their business somewhere else which means that i will have the location all for myself no no need to be afraid of uh, leaving the ship open or closed and juicy loot as you can see they have two s71 assault rifles uh, and the gallant energy rifle as well that i'll be taking uh, l later and i'm really happy to see that because the s71 is not a rifle that you can buy in game uh, you have to find it if you want to acquire it. of course you can buy the ammunition in game but not the rifle itself and that gun is going to be very useful especially if i want to be doing the siege of horizon if i I'm lucky enough to be able to take part of it, so pretty cool. And, uh, well, we'll be going on for some uh, drop-off and some fancy flying as well. Just to show you guys, because there are some people uh, who do uh, fancy flying, you know, on stream or on videos, and, you know, they make it look like it's, you know, so hard and fancy. But let me tell you guys, it's so easy to be Jewish. I just... Just follow the. Just make sure your pip that you can see here in the, at the very top doesn't touch the ground. And you can do all kinds of uh, nice little maneuvers. And I gotta say, it's quite rewarding. I can understand why people would uh, do that for hours and hours and hours. I really enjoy doing that with my cutlass as well. All right, so about to have a nice little landing here. Very good. And well, it's so good that actually. I can enter and exit the ship from the side door, which saves me considerable time. Alright, so just like in the previous mission, it looks like here there aren't any uh, boxes to take, so maybe someone else did take them. Interesting. And we'll have another of those uh, drop-offs. Should I go between those two little uh, hills? You know what? This is exactly what I'm going to do, because why the hell not for fun? So you can see the pip going up right in between now, and I can even do a little uh, barrel like this. There we go, absolutely uh, harmless here. Wonderful. <laughs> that is really cool. That is really cool. I'm having a blast here doing that with a cutlass. You will not see that that often. People do that with a cutlass, I'm telling you guys. And that's why you are watching the Eradicator. Woo! <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. Uh, enough of the fancy flying. Now it's time for the fancy landing. to arrive here we go and that is it another happy landing all right this should be uh, the last box the last box here for this particular mission oh, i'll try to step on the steps we'll put it here on the shelf and this should be it you know i almost grabbed that other box here contract complete this time twenty thousand of our so i wanted to check out are there going to be other opportunities here around Microtech or around Hurston, I mean? And pretty much if you go to the, uh, not here, but the personal tab, which I will go uh, very soon. All these missions here, you can see, uh, pretty classic here. So let's go to the personal tab. You can see that the delivery missions remain the same. I may be successful at doing those, but I am not giving further opportunities so these missions you know, uh, i haven't felt much risk as i said you know i've never been intercepted i haven't met any other people but they are not happening just around uh, crusader as you can see i have decided to figure out if i could find any of those missions by simply going to microtech and as we are about to arrive i will be opening the mobile glass and you will see that yes the same type of missions are exactly here except that uh, we are not going to be picking up and dropping off around crusader we are going to be doing that at the local shady locations, either on Calliope, on uh, Uterpe, and of course on Macrotech itself, which promises to uh, offer some really nice vistas and a little bit of uh, sightseeing at the same time. Some of these locations that I have never been to, I've never been to the Necropolis, I have never been to the so-called Outpost 54, so I have no idea of uh, what I'm going to discover. This is the Necropolis here, uh, nested in the middle of some mountains is looking uh, quite quite all right actually very scenic very scenic indeed so i've grabbed the box put it in my ship and i decided to see if uh, the other boxes here are going to be worth taking so uh, they don't seem very legal that's why i'm opening the special compartment here in the mercury sarner oh, i just uh, i was pulled back in the ship all right uh, probably was a little bit windy so let's get back inside and we are going to be taking those boxes for fun now normally i would do that with a uh, tractor beam you know the multi-tool on the tractor beam but i haven't looted it yet so uh, for the time being i'll just manually record them of course i know that you guys in the, in the comment section would say oh you're right you should be using a tractor beam i know i know and that's what i will be doing later huh? but uh anyway at the time i was recording oh this is good And this is why it's hilarious, guys, because I, obviously I was not supposed to be taking those, and it looks like I have made some people angry. And you know what? I was thinking that those illegal delivery missions were a little bit lackluster. I was thinking that they lacked some action. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to take all those boxes. And hopefully, you know, the uh, the end of the Nine Tails will be coming with some reinforcements. Checking the sky here. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's coming yet. But perhaps they could be coming at any time. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to keep my eyes peeled. Yeah, definitely no one's around there. So, uh, I guess we'll go in and we'll take them all. We'll grab those boxes one by one. And uh, we'll see if it triggers any responses. Here we go back in the back in the crew the, in the Mercury Star now. So I have taken all of the boxes. This was the last one, and unfortunately, no one has come so far. I'll be closing the special compartment here. Normally, this one should be uh, shield proofed, so that means that if I am scanned in theory, or at least there was in a brochure of the Mercury Star runner. If I am scanned, I should not be uh, seen as a smuggler because it should be protected. And the only way to be finding those boxes for the AI is to go inside. So here we go. Let's see what... So uh, I have a couple of those here and they were only worth uh, 162 of IUC. So uh, not that much if you go to only one location. But let's say you loot them in five locations or... In uh, actually even better in 10 locations if I had done that 10 times well this could have been worth 
worth a little bit less than 2000 alpha UEC, which is not too bad when you don't have that much money. Plus, it looks also super cool in your ship to have a ton of boxes too, I think. Anyway, this is it. This is going to be the delivery. Now, it's not very practical to be delivering under that shelf here, so you have to crouch to be able to do that properly. And we'll do that with the last box here. Okay, here we go. And that's basically it. There we go. Illegal mission completed around Microtech as well. The Red Wind Deliveries is definitely very happy with my work here. But let me know in the comment section down below, guys. How far have you gone with illegal delivery missions? Have you tried to take them, perhaps? Um, have you made the Nine Tails angry? Did they come to get you? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you answer the question in, subscribe to the channel to get a chance to win a Legionnaire, thanks to Dr. Fobin. Also, make sure to check out our Discord channel. We have a wonderful community there. And also, another giveaway where I'm giving away a Retaliator Bomber with LTI. All you have to do is to enter the sharing contest, video sharing contest, and get as many entries as possible. Also, if you are a Patreon or a YouTube Joe membership program, you should have access to the giveaway as well automatically, simply by entering your name. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you so much to Dr. Fabin, Captain Snake, Eric, Old Geek Citizen, and the Jitter. It's the Eradicator. I will see you guys later.